an opportunity to indulge ourselves in a little bit of memory stirring. An old English country fair, spinning, basket making, clog making and the traditional travelling fun fair. As we make our way around this large fair area we will see a number of crafts which have been revived like the walking stick making. The old tools and artefacts used by the cottage industry to create these old items. Alongside the traditional crafts, as we've just seen, coracle, bow making, arrows and uh, whittling, we have this new one, chainsaw art. Here we see an owl taking shape. We'll move on now to see just how educated the real birds can be. This is a European buzzard. A common buzzard goes by the name of Buzz and where we're working today and Bob and I are managing working birds around about 19 to 24 weeks old. The young ones from this year we're talking here a bird which is 24 years old. So if we went into the enclosure, pick up the bird, we would wrap it up in a towel, put the jessies and the equipment on it, and then fall back into a nice dark room with just the light of the television um, that would give enough light off. But in the olden days, it was oil light or candle light. And we would sit there, calming the bird down, let it get used to us, and eventually starting to eat with us. Then finally, we want the bird to be happy of taking tidbits off our fingers. Now at first, does he know the difference between my fingers and pieces of meat? Well, no, he doesn't. And he might try and have a bite, so you use your nail as a protector. But the shape of my hand is going to be very important. Every time my hand comes up, there's a little reward there. So close means food. The bird is looking to see if there's food there. My hand open means no food. My hand closed, it's looking for food. That means I come in with my open hand, I want to now take a liberty. For that liberty, I raise it. When it will sit there and cut for a reward of food. Amazing, just how educated those birds are. We move on around the fair area. We come across this little truck where the driver climbs in through the top and sits in it. How many of you remember this supposedly revolutionary machine. The pedal and electric powered Sinclair C5. A popular attraction for the visitors to get a feel for a different way of life, the old Romany way of life. Having a side window fitted, I was told, denotes that this one is a showman's caravan. A good stopover point for a parched camera operator. When the campfire is burning nicely, the stew is simmering away quietly and the brew can is boiling. As we make our way to the old time fairground, we will pause for a few moments to listen to the strains of the Royal Bruder organ. The highlight of the year for many village youngsters was the travelling fairground. From them austere years of the late 1940s and early 50s, it is very fondly remembered. We young lads used to go to eye up the girls from the neighbouring villages and hope to corner one up 
later that night at the village dance, or the hop as we called it. It was the village lads that got cornered up, trapped by enchanting smiles and expectant eyes. I don't think many of us complained. Fascinating, wasn't it? Next on our journey, the craft and model marquees to see what treasures they have in store for us. Yeah, you know, let it dry. Well, varnish the top, turn them over, and and then over over a period we got them. The first exhibit we come across is this huge collection of police memorabilia. Police helmets, uniforms, medals and cap badges. An extraordinary collection. The next exhibit really fascinated me. Genuine cutting edge stuff 100 or more years ago. Every young boy's dream of the 1940s. A Meccano number 10 set with motors and gears. I never quite got there. I did get to an 8 with motors and gears. We will take a walk back and have another look and a listen to that wonderful old music making machine. Absolutely. It's a pain. It's a weed. It is a weed. It's great. It means no one else wants it. There's lots of it around. The supplier actually says it's sustainable where it is. It's a, a 
boys. That's just boys. Right, Oh, I have to flatten them. Got to flatten them first. Yeah. All round. What are the miles steel? Stainless. Stainless steel welding one. Oh, I've been using. It is time to say goodbye to this picturesque rural setting where the Cheshire Gap opens out onto the North Shropshire Plain. Endless interesting items and curiosities to look over. Some useful, some just ornaments, but all, like these animals, part of our heritage. Wonderful memories. <laughs>